All right, what's going on, everybody, man? Welcome back to another episode of the Happy Hour. Goes hand in hand with Happy Hour. But, you know, I ain't really got my glasses today. You know, I'm in a different environment. Usually I have my glass of wine or something in here, but it's been crazy. I got some wine. Now. You should have got some Seven, seven, seven Springs be my little sponsor, but I, I ain't bringing in much alcohol because I was like, I forgot. You know what I'm saying? That's on me. Well, you know what? Don't worry about it because I'm probably going to bring them back. They're going to come back uh, hopefully again. I might get them back on here. We're going to really pop some bottles or something. Like that, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. But, um, for real, for real, this is, this is a great time. Look, you know, you already know who it is. Ralph. Hat, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know where to find me. Ralph underscore underscore hat. Follow me on all social media platforms. And I got a special pleasure of having two uh, beautiful ladies up here with me today. Um, that I had I had a great opportunity to run into last week at our event that we were doing, the white party. Shout out to TJ Leak, everybody that put that together. Fantastic event. Mm-hmm. Um, Double J was going crazy in there. Like, yeah. it was vibes. The vibe was up. So, you know, shout out to everybody that was in there. Um, but... Yes, I have this love. I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. I might not do enough justice, you know what I'm saying? Because okay, this girl's yeah, yeah, yeah. this girl's full of many talents right here next to me. You know what I'm saying? She <laughs> she do it all. Like I'm look, I'm trying to be a boss like she a boss right now. You know what I'm saying? So <sighs> tell them, tell them who you are. Tell um, who you are. I am Alexis, but you can call me Lexi. You can follow me on Instagram at underscore the Alexis Manley. That's A L E X. I-S-M-A-N-L-E-Y. Little fella, don't be trying to blow up her DMs either, yo. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, unless you okay. have a bag for me. I only respond to business DMs. Oh, I'm sorry. You heard it here first. <laughs> don't tell. Don't say I didn't tell y'all. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? You, you say something crazy and you get blocked. Don't don't get mad at me. Yeah, I done told you. I'm going to restrict them. She's going to give you access to look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah actually, you can run the, you run the views up. Yeah. Run the lights up. You know lights what I'm saying? Up. Yeah, run it up. That's about you. All you're going to be running. You know I'm what I'm saying? Funny. But, you know, we got another, we got another uh, great guest on here, too, you know. Hi. I'm Jasmine. I go by Jasmine and Nisha or on Instagram, Jasmine and Nisha. That's all of my social platforms. And it's J-A-Z-M-I-N-E-Y-A-N-E. Hey. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. You know what I'm saying? I don't look. Are, are we single ladies up here? Are we, are we, are we I'm wrong? single as a dollar bill. Okay, okay. <laughs> single okay. as a okay. ring on these fingers. Okay. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, no. I, there you go. There's nothing. But y'all better play your cards yeah. right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Okay. Come over here acting crazy. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> no, you gotta step correct. Yeah. At all times. At all I don't been through some, some mess. You gotta be. You gotta step right. I mean, as as they should. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna do anything, you need to do it right. Yeah. And it's, time is time is valuable, and we ain't got That's time to be bad. wasting out here. Um, you know, mm, do you really think it's wasting it. your time though? It can be if somebody doesn't is already with coming with bad intentions that aren't okay, true. pure. But you know, a lot of people they say like, you but know, they, you do get lessons though. Yeah, like you shouldn't you date around because it's wasting your time. Me, one thing about Miss Manley, I'm going on a date. Yeah, no, it makes. I'm dating I, around. I like, like I feel I, like you have to because you don't. You know don't know you, exactly who you yeah. really want. If yeah, you, don't you learn a lot. Like yeah. you learn a lot about yourself about what you do like in men, what you don't like in men. Like I really might be out Friday with Tom, and then Saturday morning I might be out with Harry, like going to breakfast. Hey. I'm like, gonna sleep with me, I mean, but I'm definitely gonna go date. Okay. You see, that's that ain't no wrong and with that. You, and that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go on a date. No, that's right. Hey, we don't turn down free food anyway. Oh. <laughs> there you go. No, we don't. But that don't mean you're gonna win. At all, okay. You're please, not gonna win. First <laughs> thing, you're please. not gonna win. No, no, not on no one day anyway. Just thinking you feeding me. Hey. That's not. I can feed myself. I feed myself every day. Every day, got to. <laughs> so, you're not gonna win. That's nah, you're gonna definitely have to do something out of the ordinary to impress. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fellas, you gotta get creative, man. Mm-hmm. Get creative. Mm-hmm. Do something you know you don't that's unexpected. Just, you don't gotta spend a lot of money either. Like you don't. I've been on dates where. Guys have spent three hundred dollars at a nice restaurant, and it's been a boring time. And then I've been on dates where we don't went out to the arcade, and he done spent fifty dollars, and we don't had a ball. But see, I think that goes to the thing of like, hey, I don't even want to get into all that. So y'all, they about to get me in my thing. No, no, get, your <laughs> get, your get into it. Get like, into it. See, that goes to my point of like, I think, guy, us as men, we have to take that 
time to actually understand and like ask the woman. women what they like. Because a lot of times you try to do things that you think mm-hmm. that they go like, like, oh, I just need to take her there. But they might not even really See be that, And that'd be the thing. Like, you can't just assume just because what you did for the last woman is going to work for the next woman. Exactly. Exactly. Or judging so. a book by its cover. Like, it, it might be certain men. They might look at me and be like, oh, I got to take her there and spend this amount of money because she looked this type of way or because who she used to deal with. No, you can take me to church and we're going to go pray and it's going to be a nice day. Like, you can take me to your mama house to the cookout. Mm-hmm. To the hood, shoot some dice. I'm, I'm to the strip club. I'm gonna keep it real though. It's that time of the it's that time of the year. My fam, we get we get to that cooking too. So okay, you know what I'm I love like, a good cookout. It, hey, I love yes. a good cookout. And you ain't got to in- introduce me as your girl. I go as your friend. Yeah. That's fine. Cause you don't got to say all your cousins and uncles that I'm with you. Like you want me meet you there? That's fine. I got play fix. <laughs> Heavy on a pasta salad, baby. Okay, three hot dogs. She said th- three hot dogs, not two. Three. Look burnt. <laughs> Look crispy. Yep. I love it. I love it. See, I mean, I, I, I rock with the vibes like that. You know what I'm saying? Down mm-hmm. to earth joints. Like, you, mm-hmm. you know, that's 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 dope. But, you know, what I had an idea on with this motivational thing, I, that's what I like to do on this channel. I like to bring some motivation. And I find things that I feel um, that are happening with people around me or that help me be a better better myself in, mm-hmm. in everyday life and stuff so and i just try to pass some of those things along maybe if it you know might help somebody else or just get clarity on things and see how other people view like how it may relate to them differently mm-hmm. than it does to me so as a it might be different you know man y'all beautiful women so it's like you know what i might see y'all might see it differently so but, i like but- getting those you know difference of opinions but today we talking about the seven rules of life and rule number one states, make peace with your past so it does not affect the present. Definitely. Definitely. You can't do, if you guys still if you still have issues going on in your past and you haven't come to terms with it, it's not going to do anything but affect mm-hmm. your future. Do y'all feel like y'all have had time like learning through mm-hmm. that process? I'm going through my healing process now. Like, oh, word. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of things now I do. Um, for instance, like... I'll do certain things with guys that I'm talking to now and act a certain way because of somebody that I recently got out of like a situation with recently. And it's like it's not the most healthiest mindset. So I I'll catch myself and I'll be like, you know what? He really did a number on me because I'm thinking this way about something and this guy's not even take he not even taking it that yeah, way. He's not even on that type. Like y'all on two different pages. Yeah. Like, but it's my fault because I'm acting a way because I'm used to acting a certain way with somebody else. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you definitely you gotta heal mm-hmm. before you can start I to feel, move on. I feel like that's very true. I feel like I've done that a lot though. So I'm it's not. A, I'm not a cycle. person that. Yeah, I'm not a person that's been quick to get into. I guess something else after I get out of something, it's, mm-hmm. which is not saying that's good. Like. A, I guess it may say it's, it's a good or a bad thing, but I mean everybody operates in different ways. But I think that just it's a great thing as a man. Yeah, it, it gives me time to actually like kind of reflect. Kinda reflect yeah, like shit. What not? Where maybe where I went? What yeah, did I, I do? You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. Like it's sometimes I mean because it's not always one person. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? There's things that you know we're all human. We do stuff wrong collectively. But not even relationship wise. Like you gotta look at it like friendships Friendship, exactly. or. Your parents. Um, your parents. Anything yep. that you know, something that affected you in the past, you got to learn how to get over it or be able to move on. Because if you don't, then that's going to hold you back. Gonna hold mm-hmm. you back for sure. Like an anchor. Mm-hmm. You got to drop that dead weight. Yup. Ride with it. So y'all feel like that's like certain with people too in your lives? Like, yeah. Your friends too like that? Oh, yeah. I've learned throughout the years. Everybody can't go with me. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm elevating in life and it's just like, Okay, I look at life like <laughs> like a book or like a series or whatever. Like, if you really pay attention to your life and the cycles that you go through, like you're the main character, but like other people in your life are like characters in your life, and you will go through different seasons in your life, and you might not even realize I got a whole new brand new cast right here, and don't even pay it no. Like, I got a whole new love interest. I got a whole new set of friends. I like, don't even pay it no mind that you really not elevated and close one chapter and you on to the next. When I sit back and I look at it, um. 
friends that I've had over the years and who I took with me and mm-hmm. the best foods in there. And, and it's not even to say that I didn't take them with me like that's a drama or a beef that I have with that person because I could still be very cordial with them, but I just move differently with them. So, yeah. I feel that. Everybody I feel that. that. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's, that's probably true. Like, I have a lot of – I mean, I, I think I've actually uh, – me personally, I feel like I've benefited from having a, a good – selection and friends mm-hmm. like i've selected a good group of friends and i kind of got quite a lot of good close friends mm-hmm. which i don't think you know is unusual for a lot of people You're right but um my i guess even in that group there's even a smaller group that like you know these are like my, probably my brothers you know yeah. like, these, these are like my my brother's sisters like that really going like you really need somewhere that really come through for you like that that group gets a little smaller, but yeah, um, you got to though. You gotta yeah. have like mm-hmm. certain friends for certain things. Yeah, like, you yeah. Can, uh, not your friend Betty might be good for partying every night, but Betty might not be good for you venting to. <laughs> right, no, for real. Like, or you can probably call Jack to say, "Hey, Jack, this is I got this problem, this problem, this problem, this problem." But Jack not about to hit the club with you tonight. So yeah, yeah. yeah. You just you gotta have certain friends for that. So that makes sense. Yeah. I've heard that a few times too. Like everybody's mm-hmm. like, I got different friends for different functions. I know I do. Yeah. No. I love Alexis. I love Alexis. <laughs> me and her, we have been riding with each other forever. And even though me and her, we partied together, party, 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 I still have my select friends that if I was to break down on my knees and cry right now, I would probably call them. And not to say that she's not that friend for me. That's just not something that we have necessarily gained together. And it's not something that say we can't gain it, but. That's just, you know. No, and I'm pretty no, sure bro. she got a certain friend yeah. And, you know, we've mm-hmm. had deep conversations. But the same thing, like, I got two very, very close um, homegirls. One of them is my cousin that's been my best friend, you know, since die prison. And my mm-hmm. other friend, um, Boo Gale, she, I mean, that's who I call literally. Like she said, when I'm about to break down and cry and I just and met my wits in, that's who yeah. I take it all to, them two. Yeah, and I'm I'm more than likely to call though. Anna. My, my, home, my home girl Anna. If I need my mm-hmm. Anna, I call her real quick. I need a vent. <laughs> I need to tell you what's going on. Please talk me out of me. Get me together. Let me know. Am I right or am I wrong? <laughs> and, yeah. yeah. And no those be the ones that'll tell you, like, you wrong. Mm-hmm. Lexi, you wrong. Mm-hmm. You wrong. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nah, girl, you might need to look back on that. <laughs> you, do, you, got, you gotta have, like, man, shout out to those friends, yo. Shout out to y'all mm-hmm. that yeah. um, take the time to hear and be very patient and nice to listen to, you know, let somebody then get there problems out and give solutions sometimes you know yeah. we appreciate y'all happy for you yeah yeah we, we appreciate a, y'all a lot of time even as women like you don't have somebody around and you don't think they really like you and they all rooting for you the whole time they have for you sitting back praying that Waiting you fail you to fall oh i can't wait yeah. yeah and it's sad yeah, that's, that's so terrible because i know now. me you already know how I am. When I win, oh, all oh, my girls going to win. Okay. And that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. When you and your friends win in, your whole team is supposed to be. That's, that's so a fact, cute. though. When them blessings come in flowing for one person, it's going to be like a chain reaction. Because, you know, every time something blessing. good happening, I'll be like, let's, she let, do. let me rub off on your shoulder real uh-huh. quick. <laughs> but it's, Get some of that good energy over uh-huh. here, sis. But it's like the thing that when you, like, you're winning, and you the one person in your team that's winning. It ain't no fun if you buy up there by yourself. Exactly. That's the th- that's the thing people hate to realize. Mm-hmm. Like, oh shoot, you got it, but then like, you know, who else up there with you got it? So then you 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 lonely. Yeah, I mean they do Some say it's lonely, lonely at the top, but I feel like too. Well, in like that said, case, you got to be securing yourself. Yeah. Exactly. You got to be securing yourself because yeah, it's the same thing as like yeah, you can't bring everybody with you. Yeah, no, you can't. You can't. You can't. So then, in that case, you really do. You just have to be secure in yourself and just know who's there for you and what mm-hmm. aspect. Yeah, the genuine, mm-hmm. genuine is there. And those are the ones you bring straight to the top with you. And honestly, those people are more likely going to come to the top behind you anyway. Yep. Yeah. Literally, everybody got different journeys, and that's mm-hmm. what people got to understand too. Just because she winning one day, don't mean you're not going to be winning tomorrow. Yep. Or next yeah. week, like. Completely. So my team call we call playing a role like everybody ain't all the time in the camera. She, I'm y'all know I'm barely I'm barely up here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do, like, I'm in the background. You okay? You know what I'm saying? I produce and get people stuff out. I ain't trying to be all up in the scene, but I have my moments when I got to do it. But it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all. <laughs> you know saying? Thank y'all. But um, see, see, y'all, see, y'all already already went into the, like the second point of life. They said was like what others think of you is none of your business. Show length. 
that is something I'm struggling with, but at the same time, I'm learning to deal with. Like, I feel like all my life, I've always been like, well, dang, I hope they don't think this about me. Well, dang, I hope they don't think this about me. Or like, but now I'm getting to the point where I'm like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> can we curse? I don't know, yeah, but yeah. oh look, can we curse? <laughs> Yo. Look. I want people. I want y'all to be y'all saying. That's me. Like I say stuff like. Well, give me a shot of Casamigos. <laughs> <laughs> Bring out the Casamigos. Hey y'all, better, hey look, come check my girl out, man. She about to be uh, you know, if you in the area, come get them drinks from the, yeah, uh, the, the club, hive. come to Hive tonight, okay? Check out the Hive, honey. I'm not a Hive, bag. honey, but hey, I might be there. <laughs> 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 Okay, but to that um, second point, like I used to struggle with that too because I felt like my reputation was such a big thing because it is a lot of false narratives out there about me. And one thing about it, I never cared to really clear up any false narr- narratives about myself. Mm-hmm. But what I had to learn to get comfortable was as long as the people that I love know who I am and know me at my core, matters. I don't care what nobody thinks of me. Like, honestly, the people that really know me and that the people that I love, they know me at my core. So they know what type of person I am. But what do you do when you start to worry about the person that you're close with thinking something about you? Do you not ever have that like, struggle? Like like somebody significant other? Like somebody you're dating? Okay, I'll give you an you? example. Um, My roommates loved them to death. Sometimes, you know, we might have like a little argument or I might say something to them and, you know, we might go one or two days without talking. Mm. Me personally, I may struggle with damn. I hope I didn't say nothing wrong, or I hope I didn't offend them. Or that's what I like necessarily. As I struggle sometimes, is like I have to not be so much worried about what somebody else is thinking as long as I'm good. So why, if you feel like you offend them, why you just don't ask? No, no, no. It's uh, it's not necessarily like just ask. <laughs> just ask because um, so it's not it's it's a it's to me that i guess that's not me being secure in myself i can you can say that i if if i feel like oh damn i, I don't know i shut down and i've mm-hmm. had that conversation with, with conflict too. yeah and yeah don't i like, shut down like i we've had that issue where they were like well why you ain't just say something like, instead you got, of just, so you got like conflict with people that you care about yeah that's what it is I can see that too, but I'd rather just be like, look, are you mad at me? <laughs> if you're mad at me, I need you to say it so we can talk about it and move on. Yeah. The crazy thing is like when we run into those situations, I think like even us as dudes, I mean, we, we kind of, I guess, go through things a little different than yeah. like, you do, you mm-hmm. know, but even still, like if I feel like I've said something or me and one of the homies bump heads mm-hmm. or something like, and we, I just kind of come and be like, yo, look, bro. I don't care what we got going on, but at the end of the day, nigga, you're my dog. I, right. I still love you, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, what are we going to do? We're going to, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I found you know what I'm with it's, them. I can it. do that. Yeah. yeah. Like, that is, whenever issues that we did have, we have always been able to come talk about, but it took me a minute to be able to do that. Like, I don't know if that was me growing up or me just mm-hmm. being more secure, or me being, um, you know, like, being more into the friendship more. But yeah, no, like, I, I'll shut down. Because I I be I'm scared I guess you could say of what somebody may feel like I don't want nobody to be mad at me I don't want them to be upset. But the, but the thing is like when yeah. if, the, if you carry yourself in the way that you know you supposed to or you mm-hmm. do generally but they already, can't say that because you people make mistakes and you can yeah. that's, that's what, we're, we're all we're all human mm-hmm. so that's why you can't hold that because you would do something people. like simple and that you wouldn't even thought it would have offended somebody and then yeah. it'd be like oh damn. That person just got upset. You yeah, like, but, but that, at the same person, that person probably knows that that's not typical. That's not you. So you that's, I saying? guess, that's where my struggle comes in is because it's like, damn, I hope that person don't think like I did that on purpose or I did this or, oh, I wasn't intentional. I hope they know that's, I guess that's where I, I go back and forth with myself where I wonder like, what are people actually thinking? Yeah, mm. I got you. Because they can say all day, oh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's all their good. feelings might really be hurt. But their feelings might really be hurt. And, you know, they go on and, you like you said, you go that two, three days without talking. It's like, damn, son. I thought we were okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they then again you just like learning people you got to know like i guess yeah you and they know. might need their time yeah. apart mm-hmm. so yeah. yeah but like my friends know like shoot especially if it's people i've been rocking with for a, a long time too like a minute like bruh mm-hmm. you know how i take the friendship like we gonna whatever we gotta do like i overthink everything you know what I'm saying? like we gonna <laughs> get we get past this because i still love you at the end of the day and like our friendship is more important than whatever the heck. Right, right, right. Exactly. Yeah. Deep. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. You know, because we, we don't. Yeah. Yeah. I feel it. I like that. I like that. I like that. Next one I got is time heals almost everything, but you got to give it time. Mm-hmm. How y'all feel about time heals? I feel like certain things it does heal. Yeah, certain things. Yeah. Certain Sorry. things like somebody <laughs> <laughs> like let's say you got an ex boyfriend, an ex girlfriend, yada yada yada. You gonna get over that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, eventually. you gonna get over that eventually. But it might be something that like your parents did to you, like as a child. Like, I, I got daddy issues, and I know I had daddy issues because my dad wasn't there. Mm-hmm. And it's like time. That's time has not healed it. I'm 26, and I still have daddy issues. Yeah, and it's like I don't know what will heal it. A conversation is not going to because I mean, what you going to do? Tell me. I want to go to therapy. I want to go to therapy so bad. No, I really no, do. It's no, good, I'm, I'm, I'm it's good. good no, I'm the hugest, the biggest advocate for a therapist. I can yeah. myself. <laughs> but what I have learned is like I can tell where in situationships with men where the daddy issues come into play, and I try to correct it. Mm. Like I would have a bad habit of allowing men to come in and out my life. Because that's what my daddy did. Like, so it's like, oh, okay, you want to break up with me today? Okay. You'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. And then I just walk him back, like, walk home. Walk home. There's no repercussions. You're just coming on home, get you a cooked meal and everything. Like, so now it's like I'm learning to correct it when I catch it. Like, yeah. Yeah. I see that. And not like, I used to panic when, like, my ex boyfriend, when he would try to leave me, like, he was the last thing on God's green earth. And then I had to learn. It's no fish in the sea, baby. They come in a dime a dozen. <laughs> I don't even care no more. You're going to leave me today? Okay. I'm going to have two of you by tomorrow. <laughs> Ten minutes from now. I just got to walk out of the house, baby. One is coming. I promise you. <laughs> it's always an upgrade. <laughs> oh, that's, hey, that's how you got to do, though. You're going like, to you go somewhere. You gotta, you gotta... Uh, I mean, everything is an upgrade. Bigger bag. <laughs> bigger name <laughs> got him <laughs> everything is bigger Woo, yeah no I definitely great. agree with um, certain things certain things you gotta it can time can heal certain things it can't heal y'all some things you gotta actually work to heal yeah, <laughs> yeah. like you actually have to take the time out to heal it. I could I could definitely feel that if you're doing that mm-hmm. uh, like stuff that deeply rooted mm-hmm. Cause it does that like with parents and stuff like that. If somebody's not there and you grow up as a kid and you see other people that have that mm-hmm. relationship or have both of their, you know, parents or that thing, like, yeah. you know, I, I mean, I can't imagine, I can't imagine, but I, I see how that could definitely mm-hmm. be, be really affect somebody. Cause I've, I've benefit from having both of mine. So I've gotten like, a blessing. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I, my dad is one of the coolest dudes ever. Mm-hmm. Like everybody loved my dad. He's a, he's a, That's so funny he's, you he's, say he's, that. He's a, he's a jokester. He jokes around, but he's serious though. He's mm-hmm. serious. Like he keep it real. And my mom is kind of like more of the quiet. I literally got to argue with somebody the other day. It wasn't like a really argument, but it was like a big jump. Cause he said that. He felt like he was a good person because he had both per- both parents in his life. He grew up with both people. And me, raised by a single parent, I jumped to his throat. I was like, that doesn't make you a better person. <laughs> but, you know, but the crazy thing is, the crazy thing is I, I agree with you, though. Like, yeah. it, just because yeah. you have both. Because both, even if you have both parents, don't mean both of your parents are Were they, you, you know, know great. And that's what I really wanted. I, we argued so much. I didn't, We never got to that point. But that's really what I wanted to say is like, Yes, because you have both of your parents in your life, you may have gotten to see a man's side and a, and a woman's side, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that woman or that male, they, they raise you in the right way. Right. Yeah. Or, um, you know, and I asked him, I was like, you know, you had issues growing up in your household. And he was like, what do you mean be more generic? I don't say like, I don't have to be generic because that's the main question. Did you have issues in your household? We all had issues. You may not yeah. be your issue. My issue might be bigger than yours or might be less than yours, but we all had issues growing up. So just because you had both parents doesn't necessarily mean that that makes you a better person or you'll see eye to eye. Because your daddy could have been telling you the whole time that women ain't shit. Yeah, <laughs> Your mama exactly, just here. Exactly. Women, women ain't shit. Your mama just here. Or your mama could have been here the whole time and, you know, showing you 
oh, that she just was never going to leave your dad, even though your daddy wants you. Like, it's just, it's different yeah. stuff. So that doesn't mess necessarily make that make you a better person. I'm not saying that no. towards you, but it's just funny to hear you say that. that no, no, to. no. I'm, I'm with you on that. Mm-hmm. Like, because I, I fortunately benefited from my parents of, uh, my family comes with like a lot of long marriages. So mm-hmm. my parents have been together over 35 or like 35 plus right now Mm -hmm. and so for me it's like i mean yeah yeah, i mean every i mean even they tell you like all of that stuff has its ups and downs but it's you know that commitment of which is doing that and they genuinely love each other and care Mm -hmm. for each other so that's 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 what i've like that's what i long for that long yeah i'm like if i could just you know i'm saying first i gotta find them you know i gotta get you know (laughs) <laughs> we can work with it. We can work to the time. I was about to say you gotta let her find you, but yeah, no, yeah. actually you're a man, so you do gotta find her. You know what I'm saying? Why, you can't, why they can't find each other? You know? I mean, that's true. I, I, think, I think that's how it happens. But you know, I'm a, I'm a person off of that organic energy too. Like, so if it just that seems natural and unforced, then you know, I feel like that's I feel like that's kind of how something works. I mean, of course you push, you know, to get some things started. I feel like it should things just happen. Should happen naturally. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's necessary. She's so much men. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the category. Men. I mean, yeah, we, we, you know, got a lot of work to do out here, fellas. We do got can't some work live, to do. Can't live without. Yeah. I mean, but no, say, women got a lot of work to do, too. True. We The roles are reversing. We, we, I don't want to. I hate that. that it's, are, like, it's like a role situation, though. Like, it shouldn't have been that. It should have been like, you know, this is what it is. Like, you, you do this, you do this. It's communication. I feel like communication. It's, communication is what's a huge factor in a lot of I mean, I feel like it's certain roles that men should abide by, though. Like, I always say a man is supposed to be two things for sure, a protector and a provider. If you can't protect me and you can't provide me, you can't do shit for me. Mm, so I had a date the other heard day that. where the guy said <laughs> that it. he was, um, mm-hmm. he said sometimes he could be a little submissive and he could be, um, what's the other word? Submissive and dominant. 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 Okay. Okay. So he asked me what to like. What I prefer. Do I prefer? I was like, of course, I want a dominant man. He said sometimes he could be a little submissive. I got a little turned off because I was like, mm, what you mean? What you mean submissive. by that? I don't want you to be submissive. And he, he basically he brought up. He was like, sometimes a man has to be submissive to his woman for certain things to work. It makes sense. Understandable. Yeah. That was like, okay. All right. That makes more sense because when he first said it, I was like, oh no. <laughs> What you yeah, because they would have been submissive. What you mean? What you mean by that? <laughs> you gonna let me call all shots? Every last one. I mean, I, I will, but, but I, don't I don't really want to, want to do that. I need my because I'm already. I I do have a dominant, I guess, personality. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I can very come. I can come off very aggressive. So I need a man that's gonna be able. To Put me, in. me down. Yeah. That's me though. Like I know for a fact I'm an alpha female, so I need me an alpha male to yeah. run beside me. Yeah. And for one, you can't try to tame me either. You just gotta run wild with me. Yeah. So that's why I was like, I knew it wasn't <laughs> really necessarily gonna work with me. I'm like, I get what you mean, but you just gotta run wild well with me, baby. I mean, we ain't here together. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. I mean, I feel like that a man's supposed to protect and provide, mm-hmm. and women were supposed to be nurturers. I mean, we're supposed to take care of them, take care of their soul. And a lot of women don't do that no more, though. Like, it's not even the cooking and cleaning thing. It's they don't even take care of the person that they're with, mm-hmm. let alone take care of themselves. Like, yeah, they might look good on the outside, but they're not taking care of their inside. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, I feel like there's a lot of different levels. Yeah, it to, is. To things, cause... You got to be equally yoked. Yeah. And not just, oh, well, she make this amount of money and I make this amount of money, so we good together. No, y'all souls got to be equally good together. Yeah, yeah. your personalities got to be Your core to morals. Like, like, can I sit in a room with you all day and do nothing? Oh, well, we seen that feel of uh, quarantine. Yeah. Yeah. It was fighting and everything. Yeah. It did not work out very well yeah, it was for, a, for a lot of people. A lot of people probably left each other last year. Yeah, because yeah. it's like and a lot of people probably didn't do that. You know, you had your dates or whatever, and they go home. It's like, okay, yeah, you've been here, like, mm-hmm. but they probably didn't have to actually sit there. And do yeah, that's yeah, yeah. a lot. I mean, you think like most people are doing jobs, they're doing this, mm-hmm. or doing, so you're only really probably spending time at home for like go, time to go to bed a few hours. Yeah, you know when y'all get up in the morning. Yeah, yeah. maybe that. 
Now you gotta sit here and be with Jack all day, all. And you like, I don't even like the way this nigga chew. Like, why am I even you with him? Chewing like that the whole two years we've been together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> Get to know your people, man. Get to know them. Please do. Please. When did you start snoring like that? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Mm-mm. Did you always comb your hair that way? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when you about to clean up? Bro, you know, like, we've been in the house three days straight. I ain't seen this bitch fold not one shirt. Yeah. <laughs> she, I ain't going to say that. You know, cause I she ain't washed one dish. <laughs> 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 and nah, cause if that one dish is just that one dish, it might sit there for a minute. Yeah, I mean if it's one dish, but just that one dish. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. You got to like. Well, I feel like you know everybody. I mean, we kind of age like you should be able to. I mean, do everything that you. I feel like if you gonna ask for something to somebody else, you should be able to do that too. Correct. So I mean, yeah. I know fellas be like, "Yo, I need a girl that can cook, but can you cook?" Or they can't. Hang up curtains. They can't yeah. change a tire. Well, like at like, least if you, they can't even change a light bulb. Or, or I mean, uh, if, um, part of the thing is like maybe you don't have to be, but the effort too, though. Yeah. Like you try. Like it's a difference when people are like, oh, I'm not doing it at all. I'm you like, well, you won't even cut the grass outside, but you mm-hmm. want. I cut a guy off the other day because he won't come change my tire for me. Oh yeah, he need to go. Cause what are you here for? And if you can't do it Bro, yourself, you gotta like, find no, somebody called, that can I do it. I called you and you said you were asleep. So did he say he wouldn't? Or I call. I say, hey. He just needed some time. My to come tire change need. It. I need. I, my tires pop. I I need help. I can't. I'm sleep. I, I don't even have time. I don't hear nothing else. All right. I find to do it. Click. I hung up. That I mean, person later weird. hit me up eleven o'clock later that night and oh. asked me, "Was I good?" Oh my eleven gosh. o'clock that night. I could have been kidnapped by now. Oh my god. On well, the first, side of the road. First off, I mean the first thing. All right, fellas. Tip one. First thing, if you get the call like that, you're supposed to ask. Are you okay? Come on now. Okay. That's number one. So first thing is you ask, are you okay? And if she's okay, you ask, like, where are you at? I ain't even get them questions. And if, she, if she's, if she's at sleep. home, if she's at if she's on the side of the road, then you can't, bro, you, you got to make an effort to do something. Like, the location. You, yeah, where get you the location. So, bro, even if I'm not getting there, my AAA about to get there. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. saying. If you so can't do it yourself. I ain't getting somebody getting there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, that's the, the same guy who said he was submissive, so yeah. What he got going? I'm calling you. I'm in distress. Like what? (laughs) Save me! And then and then you asking me for a second chance? Did I get a second check in? Second chance to have that tire put on? No. Did you buy me a new tire? Nothing. I'm good. Did you take me to go get a new tire? So I just wanted from a man's opinion. Was I right in that? Was like was I? Okay to do that. I yeah. from a woman. Every woman I said, <laughs> women were like, "You should have cut him off as soon as she <laughs> said he was asleep." I would have. I, mean, hung, I, I I'm mean, sick of what? Hung up. <laughs> I wanted to see. I wanted to see what his response and everything was gonna be after I spat. I I feel like you know. I mean, that's I don't know, fellas. You gotta you gotta do better, bro. You gotta, you gotta do better. better. Like, gotta do better. Especially if, if if it's somebody you really trying to like. You know what I'm saying? You trying to rock with, or you know what I'm saying? Take to another Come level on, with, bro. You can. Eat. I mean. Come on, bro. She, what if she called John behind your ass? And now John Will. And <laughs> Will. Yeah, bro, you like. All right, you want to oh. change my tire? I got something for you. I'm yeah. going to call this other nigga. I bet you he buy me four new tires. Yeah, How about that? Yeah, you, you can't be How mad. How about that? Brand new car to go along. Yeah, with. and a new car. How about that? <laughs> yeah, you can't be mad about it then. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. so, you know, like, you can't take out a frustration. I'm like, bro, you really called, bro? And such I sure and such. And, like, I seen you. You ain't you doing your job, job, sir. And that's why I said, like, what do I need to keep you around for? If I call you that one time. That's I needed you that one time. And you, and you dropped there. the ball. You dropped the ball that one time. I don't do second chances. <laughs> Not on stuff like this. Uh-uh. No. Because I've had too many times where I've called somebody and they dropped what they were doing to come help me. I expect that from everybody now. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, I mean. Sport. <laughs> it's well. I, I feel like I feel like it's at least the 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 effort or the care. Though. Yeah, no, like, the effort because because sometimes like you know somebody might be like, bro, I'm like not even in the area. And like, you, you know, what I'm saying? Yeah, but, understand, yeah. but you can you can at least like be like, okay, with you, let me got on. Let me see who I can call. call. Okay, so I'll give you that. So you, after you know. I called that guy, I called the the second guy. And eventually, I had to get help from somebody walking across the street. I had to change the tire on myself, broke my whole little pinky nail. Oh, it was so sad. Oh, gosh. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I ended up calling a guy who wasn't in town. He was in Durham. So he was like, um, but I might have somebody in around there that can help you. Hold on, let me call them. They ended up calling me, I mean, 30 minutes later. But they eventually they called back and was like, we 
good. You need help. They run around. I'm. I can come down there now. I was like, oh no, I'm good now. That person got A for effort because they called mm-hmm. me back just to make sure I was good. Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. So, yeah. Man, shout, shout out to y'all putting in that effort, mm-hmm. man. Just to mm-hmm. follow effort, up. A for you know effort, man. It's, effort matters. Gotta learn, It'll take man. you a long way. Applying that pressure. Pressure. Sure. Long way. How much pressure is too much pressure, though? Mm-hmm. That's a good question. I think it's like it depends on what you get in return. Because I know me. Like, I'm going to make you chase me. It's so much fun playing cat and mouse. <laughs> I get a kick out of it. Like I'm like, oh, he's so thirsty for me. I love it. And then I'm the type over here that as soon as you start doing everything that the last man then do, I'm like, I love you him. Wanna marry me? <laughs> I love him. Do you want kids? <laughs> yeah. And it could be the smallest thing, like the smallest yeah, little thing. Like, yeah, I'd be upset. I don't like the cat and mouse thing. Don't play. I don't want to play. Cat I and love mouse with you. Cat I feel mouse. like he's good. I feel like he's good for a point, but then I was like, you know, what I'm saying in the feel, beginning, like the yeah, first. That's what I'm saying I feel like he's good month. for a little bit, but I was like, yeah. you don't want to do it too that, long because then they could be like, all right, bro, look, yeah. God, no, I'm not. But I'm we don't. Yeah, 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 I had somebody yeah, tell yeah, me that. Yeah, do you really want me or no? Yeah. I had somebody <laughs> tell me that. Like literally, he stopped talking to me because of that. Because I'm yeah, I'm and I'm the type of person I make it. I like you. What we doing? I need to know. Now, now. <laughs> I don't play these games. Straightforward, straightforward. Get, get to it. Because no, I feel like I don't need for us to waste each other's time if you ain't even trying to go down that path. But like, see, I be trying to go down that path, but it's how I'm gonna make you jump through hoops first to get down that path. Yeah, like, I remember this guy. He, t- <laughs> he took me on a date, and uh, he where was we going? We were going to Stir in Raleigh. Oh yeah, I know and I his um, I sent him my aunt's address to come get me because I'm like I'm not driving. I don't drive on dates. I just don't. I want to sit in the passenger seat and be pretty. So come on, come on, sit there on the seat then. Yeah, I wanted to sit there and be pretty. So I sent him my aunt's address, and it was like 20 minutes from Stir. So he called me. He was like, you on the way? I said, I sent you my aunt's address. You ain't get it? He said, I got it. I said, how far is it? He said, 20 minutes. I said, okay. He said, I'm looking at the restaurant. My hotel is right across the street from the restaurant. I said, okay. <laughs> she's Are you coming or not? And was that ass? She's she basically, she basically saying, I'm not at the restaurant, so are you. Yeah, he said, I'm, you know, like, I'm looking at the restaurant. Okay, but he came and got me. <laughs> oh, I, I, of course, of course, he came and got me. I mean, but the crazy thing is, I, I, I'm surprised. I'm surprised y'all went back and forth <laughs> that long. Home. Like, you know, he went back and forth on that much. Cause I'd be like, shoot, that's kind of like one of my first questions. I kind of asked that. Like, if you want to drive or yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. I, I kind of yeah. throw that out there. I'd be like, I mean, not at all. I'm trying to be weird. Cause I'd be like, I know it's kind of you know, first date joints kind of be you know. You don't really no, necessarily so, know who's gonna move yeah, that way. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, um, and, and sometimes like this, we kind of in that era where people going through like you're meeting people through social media, and mm-hmm. you really might not know them. So I guess it's a little different if I actually physically met somebody in person. Yeah, and, so that, and then I decide yeah. like, hey, you know, we want to, you want to go out to dinner? I want to take you out to dinner or something like that. And then I'll be like, do you want me to pick you up, or do you want to just meet there? That's yeah. kind of like my first question. Yeah, but if it's somebody I really don't know like that. Then it's kind of like you just trying to meet you trying to meet the spot or what? Like, yeah, because you know, yeah, that makes sense. You know, we'll do that in a heartbeat. I'll be like, mm, come on, you know, what I'm sit saying? across just, this restaurant, make sure he don't try to kidnap me. You, exactly. I mean, you don't, <laughs> bro. We don't know. You don't know. People, got the location. Yeah, got the location. That, that is me. I would tell my hunger like, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm about to go out with this guy. Um, he about to take me to dinner. You got my location. Yeah, yeah my roommate's got my location, so I always hey, I'm going on a date, y'all. Keep, keep check on that. Mm-hmm. Keep if on I'm that. not back in two hours, send mm-hmm. the police. <laughs> no, and they will. They be like, oh, they'll send me some eyes, or, the eye emojis or real quick. Or, yeah, or at least message, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you are eyes? In Where you at? <laughs> what you doing? That's I'm good, though. Something. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, got like to have your safety You went on a date from my house. I had to text you. I'm like, all right, now. I, I done got back from brunch. Why you ain't Why oh, you ain't it, back yet? The date was so good. We just <laughs> stayed there like two hours later just talking. Yeah, that's, that's, well, that's yeah, a good yeah, date. That's well, a good we left at the same time. I think she left before me. I had to made it back to the house. And he came so, and got me. Yeah, yeah. Alexis. That was another one. <laughs> he came and got me. Why you ain't here yet? There you go. You know what I'm saying? So, fellas, you know what I'm saying? Do do your part. You do right, bro. The date going to be good. 